Kidding? Yeah. I am going to say the N word. Mr. Palmer, get down! What? I'm going to say the N word. No! It's racist. You can't say the N word. I'm going to say the B word. Correct. Bring shilling! It's already a shit show. He's Asian, so it's alright. <laughs> it's. <laughs> It's Asian, <laughs> so it's alright. <laughs> Starting off with actual race. Starting off with. Uh, <laughs> Lila. Oh, you, you are doing the story? recap. Uh, oh, yeah, the backstory of the whole campaign. So, it started with Ace. No! And no. <laughs> Wait a second. I can't. That's too good. <laughs> so back a uh, couple of minutes ago, y'all. I let Ace take this. <laughs> so my good friends, I haven't been here for quite a while. But like the Sar and Jinar and Lila and BB kept falling on their adventure. My good friends, yes, yes, around the bonfire, we all talk about story. Oh, not again, not again. And history. Not the bonfire. After tracing the uh, claw marks and, uh, well, the torn down trees. We've they found uh, some uh, gnolls who were prepared to fight. <laughs> well, they all surrounded them fiercely, and <clears throat> fuck, and they all ready up for a grand battle. <laughs> The Gnolls went in, or Baby went in actually first, and Aegis uh, had a rough time fighting off all the Gnolls that surrounded. While Lala tried to prepare and finding a way to not using her bullets and using her alchemical gnolls at, at her advantage. Janar and Blessar taking out the ones who, at least, well, called out the gnolls from the trees. They're in the trees, y'all. My good friends went in for a lot of kills, but they had a difficult time killing these gnolls. Though <clears throat> certain uh, max HP... <clears throat> I mean, they dealt quite a heavy blow to them, to these adventurers. Well, Aegis dusted away. The Tsar fell unconscious. BB and Jannar kind of holding, holding on on a little thread of life. Alayla, the by being half health and uh, kind of looking at everyone. Well, they took out a lot of gnolls, and Vida finished the battle with two finishing bullets on each gnoll. And the Tsar is unconscious, probably meeting, uh, well, John at some point. Now it's your turn, John. What? what? No. Open <laughs> no. No. What? No. Okay. And, no. Uh, that's no, actually kind of what, no what time for John. Was. No time for John. Sorry. So, my good friends, that was the story for today. Claps the brook. And we we'll see what's happened next while Ace turns to another page. Opens and closes the book, yes. What happens next is uh, the end of the battle, to be honest, because we ended right at the end of battle. Everyone's. Everyone's, uh, everyone's really checking if they're dead. Uh, Blizzard is laying there unconscious. BB and uh, Jinar, you're, you're, you're really like, 
It's rough. You're you're tired. You're damaged okay. beyond what you've been before. And uh, yeah. Yeah, BB is uh, absolutely fucking decimated. <laughs> I have one HP. He's fine, everyone. I'm good. <laughs> I'm alive. What about everyone else, huh? You, uh... You... You... You, <laughs> you holding up? Yeah. I'm kind of focusing on Bazaar, not bleeding out. Yeah, you could go to Bazaar and, um... You can do, um, do a heal check just to see... You know, just see his condition. With a natural one. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, he looks fine. Like, from your uh, point, he's not bleeding, he's breathing, and it doesn't look like he's on dying, per se. Jinnar, would you just look out? Just no one suddenly just stabs him and you know i'll go check on baby instead yes of course um i roll a medicine check on uh Blizzar, since lila asked me to uh look out for him mm. uh, to see um if there's anything that needs to be done uh or to heal not medicine, this isn't D&D. &D. Yeah, with a 13, you with a 13 you get to know that um he's going to be fine to be honest. It's uh it's not the end of the world, you know? Um he's his condition is is rough and his body is like just keeping him uh alive. Uh but he's like not he's not dying per se. He's just Really, his body, like, needs to rest. Right, uh, I'm just gonna cast a... Did, did, did I use Cure Serious Wounds or Cure Modest Wounds last time? Last time, we still have the logs. You used... Let's see, on yourself? No, no, on BB. Yeah, true. I think I used up my Serious Wounds. Last time, you did... The last thing you did was scimitar, scimitar, cutlass, um, scimitar. It, it says that I've used up my cure moderate wounds, but I think it was the other way around. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to cast the cure moderate wounds um, on uh, Bazaar. Mm -hmm. There we go. B20. Uh, hang on, can't I just do this? Uh, damage bonus, uh, one, this is, is, wait, the amulet, is it, is the amulet one or one D6? Uh, what, 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 what does the amulet do? Amulet of the spirits. Um, the amulet regaining an additional D6, so I just do, um, an extra nine when I cast Cure Moderate Wounds. So we're just going to do it like this, uh, 9, like that, did that work? Yeah, you used Cure Moderate Wounds. No, never mind, that was now. <sighs> anyway. You used one Cure Serious Wounds. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I used up my Cure Serious Wounds. Yeah. But anyway, I cast a Cure Moderate Wounds healing Bazaar for 27. Yeah, Bazaar, you are above... Um, you are above... Um, minus. But you but you make the choice if you, like, let your... If you want to wake up, if you just want to lay there, you know. I can wake up. Yeah, as you... As you heal Bazaar for 27, you um, you kind of just see that you use the amulet, right? Or uh, no, the amulet just applies to me. 
Ah, okay. But I, 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 because I, I also have a plus one because of my background, so I had to figure out if my amulets gave me the one d six on my background. Oh. But the uh, amulet is the one d six. Do you heal him again? No, I heal myself. Oh, okay. Um, you do some cat like uh, somatic and verbal, yeah, some. You chant in your own, your own language, I'm guessing. And um, after doing the spell, the spell is successful, and some of the wounds and scars begin to close, and uh, Blazar awakes. Hello, friend. Nice to have you back. Oh. Uh, Dinar, hi. Uh, Goddamn, that was... That was... Uh, a battle. Pretty, uh, pretty scary, huh? <sighs> yeah, I almost died. Look like you took a big hit, no? I did. Um, wow, that was scary. How, how are the others? The others are fine. Uh, well, uh, Lila, she's okay. BB, he's seen better days, but he'll be fine. All right. Uh, I'm glad you took care of me, Jinar. Appreciate well, that's that. what friends do, no? Of course. Uh, yeah, uh, we need to um, group up with the others. Yes, I agree. They're like 10 feet away. Oh, up now, that's cool. Oh. Now we're, we're grouped up already. Wow, that took no time. <laughs> hey, guys. It's really quick. You fought great, you know? Really? You did, BB. Wow, I, uh... It kind of saved us. I feel like... dead. Yeah, me too, BB. We got, uh... <laughs> we got damaged pretty hard. But we made it. Like a group. Yeah, I guess. Baby, I'm, I'm sorry about Aegis. Oh, no, that literally doesn't matter. I can get him back really easily. He's fine. He comes back eventually. Oh, uh, uh, huh? Don't worry about it. You think I know? Uh, I'm kind of <laughs> guessing you would know how to hold. He just comes back. Uh -huh. Don't worry, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I, 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 guess so. I killed him. Then he lost the mustache. Oh. How are you, baby? I'm dying. Heal check. <laughs> Let me not roll the one this time. With a 12, which is much better than 6, that's actually double. You manage. You, BB's like he's he's um, he's really beaten and bruised, and uh, you know he could do with some uh, some uh, healing or like just a nice uh, rest. You know he's um, he's he's like on his last straw, if you would you would say. But it looks like um, it looks like uh, he's taking it well, but not. Okay. Can I, like, patch him up so we can heal more? You can, uh, if you decide to... Um... Uh, you can... Take a, um... Give me a, uh, give me a... I don't know what, um... You can, um... You can take a, uh... You can just take a pure, like... Um, wisdom, I guess. Okay. Or, By the way, BB yeah. banishes the tigers because they're kind of annoying and in the way. Oh, they 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 have been gone, like really quick. Yeah. Also, before I did wisdom, I debuff I uh, debuff myself <laughs> back to normal. Wait, what? Wait, you removed the tigers? No, I removed my okay. uh, my mute image. You know, the DM, you removed the tigers? Oh. Yeah, I did. Oh, they haven't done that to me. Hold on, let me reload. Um. Okay, so 
with your like wisdom you're you're like you um you're not sure how you know that you can but you're not sure how to how you're gonna do it you know you you used to like drinking potions and but you think uh, you think Jinnar has some, maybe some pointers he can give you or something? Uh, Jinnar, could you help? Maybe I I don't know how but I'm able to help. What is it you are wondering about? Well, you know, patching them up for the next day, so at least. Well, um, of course I could help you with that. Thank you. Yeah, uh, while uh, I go grab some food, Jinnar helps uh, Lila with the... Uh, yeah, okay, uh, heal check. Can't wait until they accidentally cut open his, like, lung. No, or Jinnar has, like, a lot of pluses in, in heal, heal, right? Right. Did he already leave? Right. Wait. Yeah. yeah. I guess you roll a heal check for him. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go. I mean, this is Jinnar, so you take a 20. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> or, I'll just roll on it. Let's see. Do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna aid, <laughs> Lila? <laughs> Lila? Uh, wait, I, I spilled <laughs> Pepsi all over his carpet. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Get fucked. No, not the bad, not the bad piece. Come on, man. Okay, I, I, I can, I can help. Just let me roll, and then I go grab some tissues. Be right back. Okay, just roll a heal carpet. check. Yeah. My precious carpet. Um, Dinar uh, is like a little bit unstable from the battle, but with Lila's help, uh. You know, while you're resting, you're getting, like, they're bandaging, bandaging you up and, uh, you know, just uh, taking care of the wounds so they heal quicker. Yeah. It's like, it's okay, yeah. it's okay, BB. It's, it, it will it's be okay. all right. It will like... be all right. I mean, he can't exactly open my wounds any more than they already are, so... He technically can, he has a sword. <laughs> Actually, I have four. Four. Wow. Yeah, I'm guessing you guys just set up camp? Should we set up camp? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I am... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty... Uh, I'm pretty beat up from, uh, from the fights and... Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think we should go on if we're not in 100% um, ready. I would suggest we should not be here because yeah. maybe there's other gunals. Yeah. I also I also agree we should not be here, but we should find campsite nearby. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. Idea. But this time we do not split up. Okay, guys, last time, on. last time we split up. Me and Lila almost got um, um, squished yeah. by big ogre men. This island is scary. Yeah. So, um, scary. I think we should stick together. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. And uh, I suggest we, I suggest we head north. Yes. Fine. Okay. okay. Now is quickly gonna roll a knowledge geography yeah. to find out which way is north. Hopefully, no. He's gonna he's gonna go south instead. Apparently, he's like. But he's gonna think it's gonna be north. You just you go in the you're you uh, you're like uncertain, so you just go the same direction you kind of went already. And Gennaro says, "All right, um, this Same. is north." Yeah. And you uh, had the, and, you, and you headed in the basically the same direction you came from. Like you're you're not, you're not going backwards. You're like you're like just going forwards. Like 
But you're not sure if that's north or not. Dinar does not need to be sure. He will find north anyway. Yeah. Is that actually north, guys? Hold on. Well... <laughs> <sighs> do I do a survival or do I do a geography? Geography. If you have knowledge. I don't have knowledge. You can't roll the knowledge unless you have it, unless you have lore master. You can, like you, you can get are. maximum of a 10 if you're untrained. And is a 10 enough? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. <clears throat> yeah. I'm... He's going I, north, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is north, yes, BB. Yeah, Thank yeah. you for uh, supporting yeah. me. Yeah, I think that's north, yeah. Yes, uh, I'm, 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 I'm quite certain, actually. Yeah. Yes. Alright, um... Hi-ho, hi-ho, hi-ho. To the north we go. Yeah. Um... <laughs> as you guys begin to travel... Um... Uh, wait, uh... I have knowledge geography. Just... <laughs> Do you, do you doubt that I and BB know yes, that, that yes. this is not Mark? Yes, I do. Of geography. But I just gotta say... You didn't doubt go. him last time I checked. What I'm saying. I like I like how me saying I'm gonna go north has made, like... We are gonna go north now, now that I stated I'm gonna go north. Even if this is the right direction that we're heading right now, we're still gonna go north. Yeah, okay, uh, sure go. I'm just gonna say, I'm, I'm really grateful that we can get out of these situations together, like a group. That means we can all take responsibility in this uh, adventure. Okay, yeah. So good job, everyone. Yeah, now I agree. Go. Thank you, Blizzard. Yes, all right, let, 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 let's go. As you guys start, start heading into the forest once again, into this ashy, burnt down forest. Um, with some remains of bushes and whatnot. You kinda find some, like, stacked up. Like, for, like, um, ugh, ugress, fuck, uh, like, weeds? Yeah, like, weeds that's been piled up. And you can just make a small camp about half an hour from the battle as you're starting in as you're starting as daylight is burning and uh, you're, it's, and the moon is coming up and um, as you watch the sun go down you set up camp and uh, you go through the routinely of uh, changing out bandages and treating wounds and whatnot. Anything else that's happening? Jinnar, Jinnar is going to spend a little bit of time praying to Saren Ray for guidance in these troubling times using his knowledge religion. Give the sword, join him. You ask. Sure. Or can I join you, Jinnar? Oh yes, of course, Blizzard. Uh, fellow follower of the Zerner is also always welcome to, to pray with me, Tor. Sir, sir, sir. Why are you saying it like that? It's Sir. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, Sir, I, I know. Yeah, why are, you, why are you saying it weird? No, no, I... <laughs> you are saying it strange, Blizzard. It's Sir. Oh yeah, Sir and Ray, yeah? Yes, I, I exactly. Sir. Right, let's just sit down, right? Yes. <laughs> Jinnar, as always, places all four of all four scimitars in front of him, resembling a sun, mm -hmm. um, and um, takes off its sheath and places it in the middle. P uh, takes his amulet into his hands and start praying. Uh, of course, in, in English this time. It's all ceremonial. Dawnflower, bringer of light, destroyer of darkness, killer of evil, and guider of good. Help us find our way in these troubling times. Help us through the darkness, so we once again may see the light. Oh, Saren, we pray to you to help us find 
where we are going without losing our way in the darkness. We plead, please help. Please help your devout followers. With a... 21! Okay. 21! And Blazar is with you, so you can aid. Yeah, well, I try to follow what you're saying. Do you aid Blizzard? Yes. You gotta roll. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he, he successfully aids. Yeah, you chant the prayer and um, you feel a. You don't feel much, only like small gusts of wind from here and there. You, you kind of take it as a sign of something. But as you know, the, the gods are strange and sometimes it's a sign, sometimes it can be nothing. You are a you are, you you are a patient follower and mm. and not all, you, you can't all and you know that you always can't always get an answer. Yep, Janar stands back up, stretching his back, and then loudly saying, "Oh, I could really go for some human. It's been a long time since I've tasted child." Very sweet. Picks up his sword and sheath and sheaths his swords and walks back to the camp. I just sit there stunned. What the fuck he just said. Yeah, I guess <laughs> Phoebe hears this. I... <laughs> no, as you do. I'm guessing the BB hears this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Uh, wait, he, I mean, I had this goblin with me. You want to try the goblin? You know? Uh, goblin? Yeah? Uh, yes, I've, I've, I've had many goblin. Uh, this is clump two? <laughs> once we had, once we had Lord Tribe traveling through our village. Don't know why they were there. Deep on the ground, but, you know, they were there and... Um, the, none of them left uh, because um, we killed them all and oh. we ate them. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna eat this for nostalgia's sake? I mean, this is Clump Two. He's pretty cool, but uh, he doesn't really talk much. So I, I think it's time to, you know, make some use of him. Yeah, it's uh, Clump Two is starting to like smell. Yeah. Jinnar sort of looks at uh, BB and says, um, "I don't think um, I don't think he's gonna be a good meal." Hmm. I mean, yeah. But um, Ooh, he's, you know, he's in his teen phases. He's been kind of angsty lately. He doesn't really talk or yes. move or you know do anything. But um, even though we don't, uh, we can't eat him. We can still use him. Uh, I have idea. And I sort of lean into BB so that the, the rest of the group don't you hear us. Mm -hmm. um, and then I bite his head off. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and then I... Uh, well, Jannar just says... Um, when when we were in village, back, back where I grew up, we used to take the rotting meat of the travelers, the ones who were not eatable, and we would put some in our pockets so that predators could not smell. Maybe we we make some small packets in case, you know, we, we meet some wolves or something. This is forest, you know? Yeah, so there's gonna be like a so lot of different clump two, so we're gonna have like clump two one, clump two two, clump two three. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> different idea. partitions of clump. <laughs> <laughs> Server one. The great, the great partition of clump. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker took 50 gig gigabytes of clump and divided them into fucking partitions. No, I'm just kidding. Of course. Damn. I walk out too, by the way. What? I walk out of the 
camp area. You're literally it's in the middle forest. of a forest. There's no out. <laughs> you are out. <laughs> Bruh, you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, boys. So, nice weather today. Yes. Very nice weather. Green grass. Yes. <laughs> Awkward, yes. Uh, Who is that guy? I don't know that guy. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's bizarre. Huh? Wait, that's bizarre. Yes. May, may I ask you something? Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Oh, yes, of course. Why? Why do you follow a god? Uh, why... I think you should explain this one. Why I follow a god? Yes. Well, when Jinnar was little, he grew up in dark. Um, I don't know where, but never sun, never day, only night. Well, it wasn't night either because there cannot be night without day. It was just dark. We used to creep track of time with with the uh, big bell. Ring twice a day. Tell us now get up and now go to bed. Only way we could know have any routine in life. And you know live like this until he was 18. When suddenly a man come to village. And men, I can see, through darkness, I saw the man. And no matter where he was, he, he, if he not holding torch, I still see men, like glowing in dark. So Jinnar follow. And after following for a while, he come to surface and see sun for first time. And... Um, Jinnar thinks this man was sent by Sarnvira to lead Jinnar to surface. So because of my goddess, I am here today. And I believe, it, I believe that she wants to protect me. That's why she, she took me out of cave. Because in cave we do bad things. Um, like we we eat uh, humans and orcs and babies and goblins and everything we could find we eat. And uh, I mean, Jinnar thinks it's pretty tasty. Most of it. Only thing is, elf tastes a little uh, weird, uh, and the orc is a little chewy. But um, uh, most of the things we do are pretty bad. And I think Sarnre saved me from doing bad thing. Because Jinnar not bad. Jinnar good. And Jinnar don't belong with bad. We know that. Um, and so, that's why I follow Serenvere. Because I know she she protects me. <laughs> like a guidance and a path to good, um, guess it? Well, yes. I think... I think maybe... I think maybe we need God mo as much as God needs us. I agree. I just so like I th being a bark or something. So I think... I think she believes in me and Blazar as much as we believe in her. Maybe even more. And that's why we keep following her, because... We can feel she believe in us. Like right now, when me Blessar pray, it, it wasn't much, barely noticeable, but I could feel it. It was there. Yeah. yeah. Thank Felix, you. It's like a responsible thing to do, to pray for the good. I see. I... For me, I never felt someone except my father. I felt I never felt the protection or guidance or someone approaching me with religion, God. 
I know there's a lot of gods, and I haven't quite understood why people choose to follow. But it's kind of helped me to understand now. Good. Good. Really I think can be tricky. I think most important part is not understanding why or how, but understanding that you will never understand why or how, but you will know when you understand it. I see. That I think is most important. Bibi just sits in the corner just thinking, fucking heretics. <laughs> 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 Shall we get some rest? Yes. As you guys finish your little group talk, oh. you and, and uh, serious roots. <laughs> you are, yeah. Remember your D20s, boys. Ah, for the spells. Whoa, yeah. Imagine only one. Oh, bro. Maybe I should just roll the spells. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh. Uh. You want me to apply it to you, or have you done it yourself? I applied that yeah, one. Can can you apply to me because I pressed apply but I didn't want to apply. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cast one on BB. Mm -hmm. Yay. Remember the D20? You yeah, I, it, it's in the roll. Ah, yeah. It is? Just the so the 23, yeah, you see, it's the... Um... Where is it? Yeah. Just that one on me. Me and myself. It's, uh... Isn't there, it? There's isn't a, it? D, there's oh, a no. D6 and a... Eight. There we go. I guess I have to change a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to also cast a cure moderate wounds on BB, mm -hmm. yeah. just to top him off. What's the cure light wounds on BB? Yeah, cure light wounds on BB, and then I cure moderate wounds on BB as well. Okay, that's applied. And no, I already applied it, you fucking shithead! Oh, sorry. oh wait. Um, subtract, uh, subtract the six from that one. Sorry, that was my mistake. I, I, no, no one rolled a twenty or one. Okay, got it, got it, got it. And then I still have like five healing spells left. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yes. uh, I'm gonna cast. Uh, I'm gonna cast a cure light wounds on myself. Hmm. Uh, 1d6, Risque. nine. Imagine only a one, am I right? <laughs> oh, so I'm still gonna take 23 damage. Okay, uh, want the top card Never. or do you want me to sh uh, stack it? I want the, the card in the exact middle. Jesus Christ. Exactly in the middle. If, you, if you're one off, I'll come to Italy and hunt you down. I'll try my best. This is as this is as mid last I can get. Of course, I'll I won't know if you're one off, but if I ever find out, <sighs> you're like okay. So after you cast a spell, you kinda you kinda start to smell something. Oh, all, all of you start to smell something, and after a while, you see this green like. Gas looking thing. It's not affecting you in any other way than it smells like somebody shit their shit themselves. It's like hey. a big sting cloud. Oh, I think, uh, I think, so. Yeah, well, that wasn't me. I promise. That stinks. <laughs> so your spell fail. So, and it, I and, think, it um... and it summoned this fucking stink cloud. Like, I think that was me, guys. I'm sorry. It's uh, it, let, it's... it was you. <laughs> <sighs> it's 
It's about um, it's it's. Uh, is this there we go. is this like stinky gas? It's only a stink cloud, and it is like a stinky hey. cloud. Is it flammable? I mean, it could be because methane gas is flammable. And if it's a stinky cloud, it's most likely methane gas. Ah, oh, it's literally doing... a spell. Why are you doing this? Uh, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's, it's a, um, 30 foot, 20 foot radius. And, uh, everybody in the area can take a fortitude saving throw. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say everybody... Go go away and I'll deal with this. No, you don't. You don't. Oh, God, you yeah, don't. Like you don't have to roll forty-two saving throws because I haven't cast a spell yet. No, they I haven't done as, it yet. As, as soon as they it appeared, they need to throw a fortitude. Oh, oh, because of the thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh God! I can smell that now. Holy oh! <laughs> <laughs> If you didn't smell it before, now I got some bad news for you. <laughs> uh, Bazaar, Buffrolemu, and Lila, oh. with a fir two 13s and a 7, you're, you're nauseated. There's this foul smell comes in there, and you're like, you need to get find, out. I can't find the Oh, what did you eat, Janar? Oh my god! Uh, Where's my fortitude? Oh. God, that's sad. Uh, so th there we go. <laughs> <laughs> With a nine, you're also no shade. Is this a hot weather effect? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I'm no shaded. Um... It's uh, <laughs> it's not it's methane actually. It's just uh, it, it's it's fog basically that stinks. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm still up. I still have four spells left. So are, are you gonna, gonna just stay another? there? I'm gonna cast another kill out wounds on myself whilst staying inside the stink cloud. <laughs> Just because I'm a man. Uh, imagine rolling a one. Oh, okay. Apply it to myself. I like I, I like how different the natural ones like other like the one card fucking polymorphed you into another race. This oh, card is like haha, stink cloud. Okay. <laughs> Remember that Ace? I mean Lila. Can you apply it? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Polymorph. Uh... <laughs> And I'm just gonna say, all right. I, I still have some. I still have some spark in me. Does anybody need some? Uh, anybody need some healing? Yeah. As you, as you like, I mean. like kind of, <laughs> you're like really nauseated at this point. I, I think I'm good. But after yeah. after about a minute, no, like eight, like almost a like minute, the 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 cloud like dissipates. That one's on BB. So yeah, the cloud, the cloud just slowly but surely dissipates. Yep. And the stink is gone. I will also heal myself. Yep. He shit in his pants. Yep. Alright. Is that it, everybody? Um... I'm still gonna say, any, anybody need some healing? Last chance. I'm fine. I'm fine. Fortify, fortify, fortify. 65, 65. <laughs> and sold! Alright, well, I guess I won't use my last two spells then, because I'm full health. And nobody's saying they need anything. No, doesn't look like it. Okay, Jinnar, before he goes to sleep, you know, Jinnar is starting to get a little bit paranoid lately. So he's going to sit down and um, perform a little de detect magic to see if there's any reason he should be concerned about anything. Mm. Where do you store your items again? Me? Mm. Well, m most of my items are uh, in my... Uh, in my uh, ba backpack, but some of them are also in my bag of holding. Ah, okay. Why? No, I'm just wondering. You know, in case... In I'm... case what? I mean, what if you have something magical in your ma ma backpack? You know? 
I I have. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you have in your backpack or your bag of holding, because it doesn't say. <laughs> so in my backpack, hmm? I have. It would be my really nice if you, if you guys my spell like component it. pouch, hmm? some ink. Yeah. I have a journal, three pens, another bottle of ink. I have my outfit uh, of hold, uh, hot weather. Mm -hmm. And I have uh, three mops, which should be carried. There we go. Three mops. Okay. And in oh, my bag so, of holding. So everybody is that the rest. everybody that has like pounds written on it is is it's in the backpack. Like no, everything, uh, everything. Everything that's carried. Yeah. So everything that's showing pounds, right? No, because some of the things are showing pounds, but they're not carried. Mm. Where, where but everything, it? everything that's carried, everything that's the wheelbarrow checked. Mm. That should be checked as well. There we go. So I am, I am slightly over encumbered. I have to fix that tomorrow. Uh, give me a. <sighs> um. Yeah, you do a detect magic. And um, you detect your own magical stuff. And uh, and um, you look at BB, you know, see some magical stuff on him, you know. After after that, because you because you you use the full time to concentrate, so you see, you know, he has a ring that's glowing, a belt that's glowing, his shoes are glowing. Lazar's sword is glowing. Strong, like um, the strongest auras around is Blazar's sword. The thing you have in your uh, belt pouch. And uh, let's see what what does Lila have? Is your gun magical by any chance? No, it isn't. Yeah, so, is. So, it is. Yep. With what and like how much, uh, like with what Thundering. enchantments? Is that a Thundering. so it's a plus two weapon, right? Uh, yes, okay. I believe yeah. so. And you see, Lila's guns are glowing with a, like a moderate, moderate glow. And the rest, right. the rest like have some equipment like belts, headbands that are like, like, like lesser. Yeah. But yeah, no. So, so that that's the only thing you then the the thing in your uh, belt is glowing with a uh, very strong aura, and Bazaar Sword is also doing that. All right. Uh, Jinar just says, uh, "All right, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna sit watch for a little bit. Um, you get some rest. I'll join you in a couple of hours. I just want to make sure that no nothing followed us here." You're also treating BB as well. Yeah. All right. Trust you. Oh, good night. Good night. Uh. Did you pick up anything else? Like, everybody writ wrote down what they got from the Christmas special, right? Uh, I yeah. forgot to wrote, write down the handle. No, the ha wait, I wrote down the handle. The handle? Okay, so that, that's also glowing moderately, you know, the handle. Okay, it's, yeah. it's like, uh, it's glowing stronger than the weapons, but it's not as strong as the uh, Blizzard Sword and the thing in your back. Okay, yeah. Is there something else I should ro uh, write on the handle, or...? No, you just know it's a handle with some uh, engravings in, in, in a language you don't know. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure you don't know the language. Yeah, you no uh, way. Never mind. Um, you can't. You you you. You can read the language, but it's scrambling because of it's magic text. So you need so you need to read magic most likely to read it. Uh, can I do something? Yeah. Before. We have a set up a bomb or a campfire. I'm mo yeah, 
like most likely Jinar. Yeah, we 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 set up a camp. I've already uh, subtracted the um, the firewood from my back, so yeah. Uh, okay. Now let go set to Jinar. Jinar, do you have some a log left? A log. Yes. So well, I have I have I have many friends. Do you need Do you need one? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, Jin Jinnar hands him a log. Mm. So I'm not gonna log this around anymore. <laughs> get it? <laughs> I I get it. Yes. Jinnar looks uh, very pleased with himself. Uh, Lila make tries to make some charcoal. Yeah. Just uh, do I know do I alchemy? Do you have you have craft alchemy, right? Yep. Yeah, just do a craft out for me. That's uh, within with the skill set. Can I take a 20? You can take a 20. So, 31. Yeah. You, you just take a lot. You just take a... So, you you, 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 do, you do this, and then... Yeah. You make charcoal. 20 minutes. Okay. Um... Or you, like, start the process at, at least. Uh, I wonder in the spell command uh, component pouch. Mm. Uh, okay, so I'm going to make gunpowder. Okay, Can so I... I have researched this because I knew we were gonna say that the thing the thing with gunpowder is that it's only accessible from one place. Um, so while okay. you know, like the composition of gunpowder, you the gunpowder you use might be created in a different way than other powders are made. Okay. So you need like the right equipment and if you make gunpowder by yourself, I'm going to count it as an imp you can make it but it's going to count as an improvised weapon. Uh so if I for example make a homemade <laughs> gunpowder yeah. and and it's going to take like 14ish hours to make charcoal. And so, is it only accessible for muskets, my musket, and not my revolver, or...? Uh, I mean, with gunpowder, you can make shots if you have, like, the... You can make bullets if you have the metal for it. And yeah, for uh... a musket, you need pellets, I'm pretty sure. Okay, it's what this pellet's made of. Oh, can I use my... Okay, can I just melt my dagger and make pellets out of it? If you had a place that would be hot enough to do this, because it's gonna, it's gonna take, a, it's like like I said, 14 hours-ish to take, to make the charcoal, so you, you're like, now you're just like uh, pondering, like you're preparing to make this, but you really need to have like you and the group really needs to have really need to have a base of operations where you can uh, maintain the fire, have a really hot fire where you can smelt the metal and all that. So yes, you can use your dagger uh, or your cutlass to make uh, metal, okay. make some yeah. gunpowder, and then make some bullets. Yeah, so I'm going to try to make some gunpowder. Well, it's uh, you managed to create charcoal. But it's gonna take the fourteen hours, as I, as I said. Okay. Then Lila. So you're most likely gonna sleep these eight hours, and then you like, if the group is willing, they they can wait, you know. Okay. Uh, Lala kind of sleeps on it, or mm -hmm. not on the fire, but you yeah. know what I mean. And you also go you 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 go and check on BB for the last time, check just replace his bandages and stuff, and then you go to sleep. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing you're up for an, about an hour, Jinnar? Yeah, um, Jinnar sits on the perimeter of the campfire, mm -hmm. looking out, and whilst he's sitting there, his curiosity sort of gets a better of him, and he, he takes a closer look at this, this deck of cards that he noticed something coming from earlier. <laughs> yeah? And he sort of... 
No, if you didn't know Jannar, you'd think he was about to pull out a card, but he sort of stops himself in the last second, and he's like, well, what's the worst, what, what's the worst that could happen? But also, it's pretty bad. So uh, I think I'm going to let this be for a little bit. Yeah, Jannar doesn't have like a lot of, of knowledge in the magics other than you know, the, the, his greatest enemy, you know? And he's thinking if, if a fucking uh, a card pack is radiating the biggest amount of energy, it's like something bad could happen. Yeah. Like, but then also, Jinar is very inquisitive, so I'm struggling with this decision. All right. You see, High or low. You, you can sleep. High or low. It's always low. Low is always good in Pathfinder. You know, I pulled out a card. Ah! <laughs> oh god, oh no. I, I, I didn't think it would happen this fast. Damn. It's gonna happen, it might as well happen now before I fall in love with this character, dude. <laughs> it might as well happen now. Okay, let me, let me count. I'm gonna fucking turn into a dread lich One, again. Two, and then haunt the next party. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So boys, uh, I guess this is the final episode. Finally. Roll me a twenty D twenty two. D twenty two? Yeah. Nine. Nine! I summon Hitler. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Goodbye. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> From his laugh? From his laugh, I just died. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, roll me a 1d4 plus 1. Oh, okay. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> that's a bad luck. <laughs> no, I hope you guys are prepared for the boss fight against the, uh, the demon lord. <laughs> so I just summoned 5 ancient titans or something? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> what happens? Oh god. Oh no. Jinnar. The, the the deck you draw a a card with uh wait is it uh, wait is it uh two of pentacles give me a second two of pentacles you draw a card that's that's um that's uh, a guy holding like two stars and it's going in infinite it like in infinity Okay. And it's called the Two of Pentacles, and it's and it has the number two of the Roman numbers. Okay. And as you <laughs> pull out this card, it kind of vanishes in your hand, and you notice that. Um, how do I explain this? Give me. Give, not a good sign. Give me a. Give me a. Give me a moment. I just need to have okay. some reference. Uh yeah yeah here 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 um it's never a good sign guys when the DM struggles to explain something because he hasn't done it a lot you you kind of start talking and in your in like in your head you kind of start to struggle with holding thoughts and you kind of have uh starting to mispronounce things. And um, the thing that you happened is that Jinnar having a stroke lost five intelligence. Oh fuck! Oh, shit. <laughs> that's Wait. why I laughed. Oh, he has bad. five intelligence now. I only have oh. ten intelligence. I have five intelligence. Now you can really be dumb. <laughs> oh no! Yo, that's that's why I laughed because I was like, oh, no, this. I have a minus three. <laughs> I was like, this is so fucking funny. Oh my Wait, god! If I if I lose one more intelligence, I actually become brain dead. Don't no, I? it's uh, under two. Oh, is net five for uh, for a player character? Uh, no, no, no. It's um, I I have the thing right here. It says. It's uh, like two is basically two is barely enough to open a door. Five is barely enough to speak. Uh, when you have two to three, you have animal level, uh, so instincts. Four to five, you can still you can still speak. Okay. 
Keep so you're you're you're, you're not you're not like you're you're like acting yourself, but like remembering things. Like, let's say you're gonna remember something important, you know? That's gonna be the more difficult. You're gonna start pronouncing oh. things a little bit oh, more God. mispronounced things. But it's not like you're handicapped. You're still you still have your combat expertise. I just realized why you laughed so much. Because you're the dumb because character. Of my, because of my background. <laughs> and it's very important that I remember that I have to get back. And now I don't remember. And that, and that's, and, I mean, remember. the thing with remembering is like now you now you have now you now you have a minus three on the skill checks. Yeah. I can't remember. But you okay, can you can Jinar, always take twenties. You know that's possible for them. Yeah. Jinar sort of fumbles the deck back, feeling a little bit different, but not really like can't really put his like put his finger on it. But he literally feels can't. Like, he literally can't put any words to it. I mean, it feels like something's different. Like you know, he can't explain it. But it's like something's not right. But it probably it probably doesn't matter because. But because you know, your your way, intelligence is like less superior now, you feel more wise. Also, yeah. Jinar sort of feels like you know he he he's old and he's been through a lot and he's strong. You know he's he's big and strong. He's he's probably the biggest of his race there's ever been. I'm pretty sure there ha there's never been anyone bigger than Jinar in his race and and definitely not stronger so he's like the biggest and strongest and wisest of them all uh, so he feels pretty good now uh, for some reason but he also feels like something's different and he probably just thinks that you know that was just like a, a, a realization of true potential that card of probably what it is uh, or, or whatever that that square little paper thing was, you know, uh, it might have been a book. I don't know how many pages a book has, but <laughs> uh, anyway, Jinar sort of stumbles back to bed. Um, he's pretty tired at this point, and and places down his bedroll. Uh, obviously, the wrong way around, so he sleeps on the back, um, and uh, he um, he sort of forgets to take off his armor. Uh, but does take off his boots, which he never does because they give him a disadvantage when he puts them back on. So, um, yeah, he, he, he like, takes off his boots, but not his armor. And to add another thing, it's not like you're handicapped. It's more like you're now a, you're basically now a human that's uneducated. Yeah. But you still, you still have all your past knowledge and knowledge now. Yeah. It's just. Yeah, y your learning curve is like much harder now. Yeah, but you still have like your it. it you you choose how to play on this, but you still have yeah. all your knowledge. Yeah, no, I, like obviously, I, I was suggesting that like yeah. Jinjina was Jinjina was you know dumb and dumber around now, but it felt pretty natural for him to not take off his boots now that you know he feels free. So mm -hmm. he has to take off these boots that's been constraining him, you know. Yeah, he has these boots on twenty four seven. So you know, now that he finally feels free, he feels strong, and he feels nice. He has to take these boots off to really feel how it feels. To chew five gum. <laughs> yeah, um, you fall asleep uh, after like tending to BB's wounds the last time, and yeah. uh, you all wake up. Uh, Janar's gonna be the last, of course, and uh, Lila, you check on the. You're the first one to wake up, and I'm guessing you check on the charcoal first. Yep. And uh, everybody heals 8 hit points. And the uh, BB heals 16, because they treated these wounds. Yeah. Yeah. I did it. Your charcoal's still going and burning, and uh, it's, uh, it's a slow, but, but progress being made. And after that, like, BB and Bizarre also slowly wakes up. Oof. Wow, that was a good night's sleep. Isn't that right, Bl uh, Blizzard and Jinar? Really good, really good. As the, uh... Is Jinar awake yet? Not, not now. No, not, not okay, in now. this moment, because he... He, he... he steps up, he walks up to Jinar, gives him a little pet. Good job, my buddy. Oh, pal, Jinar. I can't wait for you to walk up where we can have intellectual conversations together. 
as he steps away. And uh, goes up to... Uh, is Lila awake? Yeah, yeah she, she's, she's uh, yeah. by the campfire. Yeah, so I walk up to the other boys. Hey, guys. Howdy. Yeah, that was uh, quite something, huh? You guys holding up all right? I'm holding up. I'm just trying to make some charcoal. Some charcoal? What are, you, what are you gonna use the charcoal for? I mean, I guess we need to keep the fire going, but... Uh, so... There's a... I can make uh, gunpowder, which I use for my bullets. And... I'm not quite proficient in making them, uh, especially the types I'm using for my gun, but I can... It's at least something I can use. I mean, uh, probably the best at it uh, out of anyone on this island, so you can, you can at least say that. I guess so. <laughs> Blattered. <laughs> You're the best person at doing it in the immediate vicinity. <clears throat> yes, yes, yeah, you're the best in the immediate vicinity. It's, it's, it's a good way of thinking, you know? Lala being flattered. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, anyway, you guys, I, uh, I couldn't help but notice that you were talking about gods last night. Yeah. Like, and you, Lila, you, you don't worship a god? No, I... I don't know, I've never quite gone into it. But what's gonna happen to your soul? <laughs> Probably... Keep being... A tiefling in the abyss, I guess? <laughs> or... well, that is true, you are, but... You really want to be doomed into living with... With demons? No, not really. No. Well, I'm sure someone would be able to help you. If you want to join me on a little little walk, I'm I'm sure we can talk about it. Ah, uh, I guess it won't hurt. You want to come along, Blizzard? Sure. sure. Don't got anything better to do. All right. Oh, actually, you should probably tend to Janar, in case there's anything. <laughs> Janar? He can take care of himself. Yeah, I suppose. He is very smart, after all. Yeah, really smart. Yeah. yeah. Take a little walk, shall we? Smart and wise. So, they uh, begin... BB begins leading uh, into a nice little path in the woods. He's, uh very used to them, so I'm sure he would uh, easily be able to find a nice little... Is this... are you going to heretic me? <laughs> so, yeah... Blashar, you're a worshipper of, uh, what was it, Siren Red? Correct. Yeah, I'm not really used to that god. You know, I... Where I come from, it's, it's quite the, uh... <laughs> well... Let's just say that my home isn't much of a home. Okay. Um, uh, what do you mean by that? Well, have you ever been to Chaliax before? No, I don't think I have. Honestly, I, I think that's a good thing. You wouldn't really like it there. Why? And the people in charge of that whole place, they're all devil worshippers. And they, uh, well, they don't treat my people very well. Oh, I'm probably one of the few halflings who lived a free life in Jellyax. Oh, wow. We stayed hidden in, uh, <clears throat> in a thick forest where I spent most of my life. And, uh, well, it's really strange to hear about all these different gods and all, all these grand things is <laughs> i suppose i don't really worship a single god as i 
just do nature, I suppose. <laughs> well, not all of us, of course, but uh, me and Janar just, uh, or I mean me, mostly just want to feel connected with something uh, and yeah, worship yeah, something I, good. I understand that. I do myself technically subscribe to a god. His name is Gosra. I don't really know much about him, though. It was just something my old folks told me about. I'll take out my book and write that name down. No, sorry. Well, he encompasses, well, pretty much everything I am. He represents nature and he represents freedom. And Lila, you seem like the kind of person to really enjoy freedom. Um, I do. Uh, enjoy freedom for everyone and Peace. Well, um, do you find the woods peaceful? As he is fond uh, it's... look at burns out trees. fucking forest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing from at least where I come from, it's more peaceful here than it ever be at Riddleport. Yeah. Just remember to. I don't want you to become like overly zealous. I myself really just want to help people no matter what. But you think Gosra would accept you? It um, definitely be better than living in the abyss for the rest of eternity. I'm not. It's. Kind of up to him. Hmm. Well, I don't really do any prayer. I mostly just live in nature. And I, at least I, I hope that's what he wants. Just for people like me to enjoy living out there and be free. I think I he think would, would, baby. You know, I do miss the woods in Chaliac sometimes. While it's uh, a relatively dangerous area, especially when the slavers come in, it's very beautiful. I've never been there before. I've mostly stayed at my town and not ever really gone out of it. You would probably have a better time there than most. Oh, and I suppose it kind of does depend. Do you descend from demons or devils? I'm assuming demons because you're saying that you're going to the abyss. Well, uh, <laughs> it's an interesting story. Huh? Uh, I don't know much about it. Uh, it kind of just happened. Um, well, sure I can... Be. People in Chaliax would easily be able to tell, because uh, if you were descended from one, they'd kill you on sight. If you were descended from the other, they'll probably offer you a nice job and a nice home. Well, that's awesome. I'm a well. I used to be a human. Used? What? Yeah. Ah. Uh, I'm not afraid of the water or the dark for no reason. Uh, my time as being me, human, learning from my father's alchemist journey. And well, after getting at a certain age, I went to sleep on that. And I had this surreal dream a man or I don't know what he was he walked up to me and told me that my father made a deal to save me but it costed him 
my mother's lap for getting me being a lap. <sighs> After that, I kind of went through torture. It was, it was a dream I couldn't wake up. I've been stabbed, drunk to acid, burned, feeling that my skin is falling off and my bones shift in place and all. And after a long time, it felt like eternity and uh, I woke up and I, and I changed in pain. And oh my God. after looking in the mirror, so I changed. I don't know how it's possible, but that day I I never was me again. I never was human like I used to be. That's not true. You're Lila. You're the only Lila I know, at least. <laughs> me too, too. I don't really think it matters that much, as long as you don't give in to whatever force it is that's transformed you. As long as you stay Lila, I think, well, you're Lila. I think we would let Lila, tears up. Thank you. Uh, never heard out of anyone, though. I remember my at least my father told me it was no quite the same after my mother and but some way I felt like he always felt ashamed. But I feel me me feel that was kind of about me, but one of his actions. But well, in my city or the town I grew up, uh, I stood for justice and not hurting others. I tried to help others, not being mugged, robbed. And that's why I became an adventurer, trying to help and be free from also evil and trying to find who I Really am. <laughs> wow. You are also um, sad man. stories. I, I really, when I, I became an adventurer, I just met Ace. And he said, hey, join me. And that's what happened. That's really nice. I, wow. I can't believe people like you exist. It's honestly really disheartening to know that there is such evil in this world, that people can be so tormented, and it's especially painful knowing that it's all been hiding, well, right beside me. But don't be afraid, because... Even if I do seem a bit clumsy at times, just know, I'm your friend, and friends help each other out, okay? Of course, you're a part of our group. We will always believe that. No, I don't care about some stupid group. I didn't even know what, the, what I was signing up for. I just kind of wandered into town looking for garbage to eat. I... I don't see us as a group. I see us as friends. I'm not here to go on an epic quest and make a name for myself. I'm just here because I like being with you. You guys are my friends. We're not the historians. We're just the boys, right? The boys! <laughs> the boys. <laughs> and a girl, of course. Of course. Are you back? I'd rather not. <laughs> uh, or I think Bazaar checked one time at the boat with accident. I, yeah. 
I promise, Lala. That that was an accident. Not happen again. Or after you guys ate human? Uh, after, I think. Oh. It was after. The spirit of that guy. What was his name? Like, J J Jesus? Yeah, I think. Jesus. John Lennon? Hmm. No, it was Jesus. But yeah, it was Jesus. That Canonically, guy? doesn't exist. <sighs> it was. Uh, it was probably him. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But uh, the thing we talk about talked about uh, uh, with gods and such. Yeah. It can be pretty confusing, and I and Jinar also know that. But I don't think it's something that we should, you know wrap our head around that much. Yeah. Me and Jinar just like like to pray. Well like to do something. I, I think it's good that Jinar is in here when we talk about this because well, he's a cleric and all and he's if we began talking about other gods and how you interpret them and their importance, I'm sure he would uh <laughs> barge in. Especially considering <laughs> how much Saren Ray means to him. Just you yeah, know that Devoting yourself to a god is nice. Especially you, Lila. It's probably one of the few ways you can avoid being sent into, well, I assume the abyss. But just remember to don't let your god take control of you. It Just be free. Be you. And if there is a god that allows you to do that, then I suppose you be in good company after you die. Amen. <laughs> and then, kind of thinking, uh, do you think he would accept me? Gosra? Well, he accepted yeah. me, didn't he? Some random halfling living in the middle of demon land? Maybe, uh... He doesn't really need to. He's never talked to me. I've never prayed to him. I just feel at ease. As my... Well, my parents told me a lot about them. And... Nature. And... I believe that as long as you respect... The people around you... The freedom they have and of course the beauty of nature then i don't think he would <laughs> i don't think he could reject you that's also what i believe just be careful when you talk about gods and well think and pray to them because they are as Great as they do seem, they, uh... They've definitely done a couple of, uh, mistakes here and there. And I'm not trying to convince you into converting to anyone. I want you to be as free as you possibly can. If you want to live in the abyss, spending your entire life murder-fucking everything besides you, that's fine. But just remember that if you enjoy the sanctity of nature... If you enjoy the freedom, the wind at your back, and nothing to lose, Gosra would probably be a good choice. I'm um, believing so. My cult grows. Why does this happen with every character I have? I managed to start a cult. <laughs> I cast that spell because okay. I want to make myself fatter. <laughs> really fat. Yeah, you guys hear bizarre fucking chanting, moving his fucking hand, acting crazy, and fucking suddenly he grows fucking 50 pounds. <laughs> oh, sorry. I just wanted to try this uh, spell. Uh, I've known it for a long time and it can uh, make my. Uh, body uh, become fatter or thinner or taller or 
So yeah, now I know what it does. Oh, okay. Shit, I gotta lose this fat. Wow, that's a... Uh, that's a lot. That's, that's yeah. interesting. Is it gonna go away? Uh, I'm not sure anymore. Well, I, I guess you gotta... Get working, huh? Uh, we should probably return to Jannar by now. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's let's go for a light jog so that he gets uh gets rid of some of that uh over on him. <clears throat> All right. Like physically, you're still you. It's just this is just magically, so it's not like making you heavier. It just looks like you're. It's just getting into room. Yeah, I'm just bluffing there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, while running. <laughs> I'm just uh, going to ask uh, or say uh, thank you for the walk. <laughs> no problem. And as you guys yeah. run, you see Janar awake. Come awake. Janar? Oh! oh, hello, baby. Hi. Thank you for tending to me. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, Hi, Dinar. Is he Hello, Blizzard. Sounding a little different. He seems happier. He seems really happy. This is a good thing. How you doing, Dinar? I'm doing very good. Yeah? <laughs> yes. You seem really happy. I feel very happy. Yeah? That's good. That's great. That's wonderful. This is much better than before. You know, doom and gloom, Jannar. We don't like that. We like happy, Jannar. Oh, I agree. I much enjoy being happy than doom and gloom, like you say. Yeah. See. Wow. I like this. I like this, Jannar. Although I can't, I can't quite remember why I was so doom and gloomy before, but <laughs> no matter, is it don't matter now. Yeah. Uh. Where were we headed again, this? Uh, I think it was, uh... North? North. North, north. yes! Wait, which we, one? Uh, good question. Uh, huh. Don't worry, I will I will lead us north. We continue going south. <laughs> so Jinar is gonna roll in Nordic Geography. Of course, now he has a minus three to that, so it's just gonna oh. be plus one. <laughs> to find north! <laughs> yes! You just you just continue the same way you've been like you you're so you're so like this is north the way you're going now is north like it's this wait I'm on trains that's a ten yeah he's going now you're you're just yeah. going the same direction you've always been going because you're certain that's yeah. north like hundred percent I'm I'm absolutely sure this is still north come on guys yeah come on let's go boys. I also been thinking we need to kind of investigate the monsters. We need to find out what's happening here. The gnolls? No, not the gnolls. Oh, well, we kind of found found the, the uh, gardens, uh, gnolls, and ogres, uh, and they kind of seems <sighs> more tactical than they should be. Uh, <laughs> you worry so, too much, Lila. Yeah, stop worrying. It's fine. We should actually just forget them. How? Uh, no. No? I mean, you yes. saw what happened last time. Get going. We beat them up easily, right? Well... Uh, I'm just thinking we should uh, probably not let. You know what, what Lila? I what? think this bothers you too much. I know. I know what we should do. We should go back to whatever town we can find and tell the people there. This is uh, this is their, you know, area around village. They should deal with this, right? I, if they want to pay us, surely we can go do it. But as of right now. We have we have somewhere to be, and that is anywhere but here. Wow. I agree Only with town that. people seem to need help. Jannar, the only town here is destroyed. 
that we are here to find out why it's destroyed. Well, then we need to go to the town, no? Yes. Uh, Hell yeah. Of course, we, we need to go to the town and... Uh, and surely, even though town was destroyed, there are some survivors. There has to be. So we go talk to the survivors and then we tell them about the month and yeah. and uh, leave it to them and then we find out what happened to town while they'll deal with the monsters. I'm sure they'll be able to handle it. I really like that your courses though, Lila. That's good. So we should really get going. I'm I'm also thinking was our the, the was there any survivors? Uh no intelligence check? If you want to know. I don't know. Luckily, that's not me. He's a survivor, so technically. You know, I don't want to. Still living in the town, of course. <clears throat> I don't want to be a little bit of a Redditor here, but. <laughs> Bizarre, you know little. I don't think so. Not that I remember. All right, then uh, I guess if we find survivors, we need to help them, at, uh, free them from whatever is happening. Never seen a survivor before. Do they taste good? No, even they taste really bad. Oh, uh, what, what is it? What is a survivor? A survivor is someone who's been through difficult times, like a war, and... And Janar, you like to eat dogs? No. Well... We're not here to eat. People. Ah, okay. Well, Bibi, although I think human tastes very nice, uh, I am past that um, that um, point. Yeah. I am. Um, I am good now. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry, I'm. Uh, I know better. Not, you know, I'm not the best at calming. Sorry. Stupid. It's totally fine, Bibi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are much better than you think. Now, we should get going, no? Zoom! Yeah. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, to the town we go. I yeah. think the intelligence loss was good for Janar's character. <laughs> <laughs> you guys make it actually through the day, and as you're approaching. Oh, wait, 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 what about the, what about the charcoal? <laughs> Fuck, uh, Let's I need to go back. To... My charcoal, wait! <laughs> are you gonna actually wait for it, or are you gonna leave it? I can finish it later, I'll just grab it. <laughs> no, it's either... Uh, it's, it's, it's smoldering! It's, it's either gonna finish now, or never. <laughs> but either you gotta convince us to stay, or you gotta come with us. <laughs> so, tell us... Uh, I'm having this quite amazing project, y'all, and I'm going to make gunpowder so we can, uh, so I can be useful. <laughs> Fine. I'm mean, All right. It's pretty cool. Please, can we wait? <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, I mean, yes, we can wait. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, you guys stay at camp for about six hours ish. Not using much energy because you're just staying there. And uh, you know, fourteen hours has passed, and you finally have charcoal. And uh, you kind of like prepare it, put it in a flask or a bag or whatever container you use, and then you're on your merry way. Yes. Hi ho, hi ho, off town we go. Yeah. And um, after, after that, um, you, you don't walk as far as before because you know it's getting late, but you kind of walk through the evening and as you're. Going through the dark, um, you at the end of like the path, 
you finally see this like you get to this opening of the of the kind of burnt trees and after this opening you see this giant just big flat ground and you see like leftovers of burnt buildings and uh, like you realize pretty quick that you've arrived to the to the town and you you look at it and you see that it's completely demolished it's almost no buildings are standing everything's burned to the ground which really explains the forest fire that was uh, you know that felt recent and um this looks nice and uh you look out as the moon is like shining up upon the town and you're like bizarre you remember this town like how it was striving how this was like life everywhere and uh, and you remembered going to that one shop every day before you left And that's oh. is where we're gonna end this session. Oh, I didn't fucking burn. All right. Emotional damage. <laughs> uh, this was a pretty short film, but that's because of the new schedule. I'm working until seven, so we start a little bit later. But that's fine. We still got through some stuff, you know. It's fine. Lore episode. Hell yeah. We got a lore yeah. episode. Yeah. So uh, thank you everybody for watching. We actually had three to five viewers this time, lurking. Love, it's pretty love good. you all. Love, love everyone here. I love. Ch I mean, I hate the DM. I hate. I hate the. Um, I hate the streamer. But I love chat. Okay, you're you're beautiful. Oh. I fucking hate chat. It was, uh, wait, it was great. And, uh, it we'll continue the on where. Uh oh, where the party finally found Burnt City. That's what we're gonna explore next time. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.